Well, right, folks, to more let's play Sonic 06. An easy level has turned up in our midst. Yes, the tropical jungle, which is bloody easy. Why? Because you're playing as Rouge and you can uh, pretty much skip most of this. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. Because I want that S rank. This is going to be the perfect episode right here. Definitely the perfect episode. All we need to do is remember which way to go. Should be easy enough. Oh, yeah, made it. Nice. Okay, so yeah, this level is easy as piss. Just make sure you have some rings and then remember where to go. Um, yeah, I think this way's about. Yeah, it's got to be this way. There are enemies on this screen. That's why it's got to be this way. Let's just go on here. Oh, is that a Soliada medal? That is a medal. I will take that medal. Thank you very much. So yeah, just the fact that Rouge can not only climb on walls, but can also fly, makes this level incredibly easy. Apart from, like, some bugs, but... Uh, the one the one that was there wasn't that bad, I guess. This is pretty much, like, the only sort of combat you have to do. Just lob bombs at everything and kill them. That's pretty much it. I believe the exit is very close. Oh, just lob a bomb there. Avoid you. I don't like you guys very much. How did I miss? I didn't miss that time. I did there. This guy's being difficult. Damn you. Thank God for invincibility frames. Right, moving onwards. There it is. <laughs> One minute... 48 seconds. I believe that's going to be an S rank. I think. Oh, that's definitely an S rank. Give up. Yeah, definitely. S rank. Yes. Perfect. And I hope we can get another one at some point. Especially in this episode. Because uh, we've got a boss battle coming up. Spoiler alert, but it's fairly obvious we've got a boss battle coming up. Very shortly. Clear the act mission and... Cleared the act mission with a rank of S. Very nice. We will be saving that game there and moving on. That was an easy as hell level. I wish the rest of the game was like that. But uh, never mind. Then again, it wouldn't be the best of games, really, would it, if it didn't have anything difficult in it? Hello, Omega. How are you doing today? You're just walking. This is a charming little place. Long time no see. Rouge the Bat. Well done, Omega. You know who she is. Good job. You got good enough RAM, Situation I guess. Understood. What would you like me to do? Did you just read her mind? Take this and deliver it to Shadow. What is that? That shiny object. I is magpie now. I will have it. I love the way he's got a little... Oh, Omega, really? Okay. I... I don't hear a countdown. Rue should just check her invisible watch at this point. He's taking too much time. Do you know what? He could have done that a lot better if he didn't just say what he was doing and just stood there. Anyway, Omega is off to help Shadow against Mephilus. Uh, uh, Methadrone. Uh... Uh, me fain, me thighs hurt. Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, yeah. So, decided to void your return ticket now, did you? Nah, uh, train only had five carriages in it. Did you ruin this world? The answer is yes and no. You're being on purposely obtuse, Mephilus. Yes, I'll show you this lovely pink thing. Look at this. Yes, that's you. After 
after the world was devastated by Iblis's flames, what do you think happened? Everyone died. A search for the guilty. Who did this, you may ask? Humanity wasn't just jealous of your power. They feared it. They used this incident as an excuse to hunt you down. Come with me, Shadow. Let us punish this foolish world of humanity. It's only fair to give back what was intended for you. You have every right to want justice. That's absurd. Whatever it is you want to do, you can do it alone. You forgive humanity this folly then? It's folly of this pink thing. I determine my own destiny. Okay. I'll do this epic music and then like three or four seconds of nothing. And then loading screen because that is amazingly Such epic. Foolishness. Very well. Let's see if you can entertain me. Oh, that's a lot of dudes. A lot of dudes. A lot of Mephilus dudes. Defeat Mephilus and his friends. All 12 billion of them. I know who I am. Yes, and luckily we know which one of these is Mephilus, mostly because, well, you know, the camera pans to him. It would have been interesting if the camera didn't pan to him. Also, like the fact that there's just random sort of like Mephilus is attached to Shadow while Shadow's just destroying all these gits. Anyway, this boss battle's fairly simple. Pretty much we've got to destroy enough Mephilus clones. Uh, once we do that, we have obviously the power of, well, the, the chaos power. Um, and then we can actually attack Mephilus. Because at the moment, we're not strong enough to shake Mephilus off, you could say. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, game mechanics? I think it does. Anyway, I believe we get hit by too many of these when they're sort of like... Pretty much trying to gang maul you. Um, you do take damage if you, well, get hit by enough of them. Like when they do this little gang maul technique. Maul him! Steal his wallet! Luckily, I was invincible at that point, because I believe Shadow's combo gives him invincibility. Their origin is to be absolute pains. And gang mauling and stealing wallets. Stop stealing wallets! You! Take all of you on. Ah, nearly there. Yeah, we'll see about that. Come on! Oh, they're going for my wallet again! No! You're not taking my wallet! My wallet's of one ring. Oh, do you, oh, go ahead, take my wallet. I don't need it at this point. Anyway. Ha <laughs> ha! Now we can hit Mephilus. Not at this point, he still has invincibility on at this point. But uh, give it time, there we go. And that's already nearly half his health. And more damage. Luckily the camera pans on to Mephilus. Bloody idiot. You don't know the power of cameras! Yes, yeah, screw you! The power of the camera forces you to die and lose. Oh, Mephilus. That was fairly easy. Oh no, dark lighty thing that makes Shadow Prince fall like an... I was about to say, like a cartoon character, but then again, you know, this is a video game. Oh, here comes the backup in the form of Omega. He has guns. Now is designated time. I shall assist. Indeed you will. We have another battle against Mephilus, but this time we're playing as Omega, and Omega is one of the best characters in the game. Yeah. Uh, he can jump, he can hover. So pretty much he's got the silver ability where he can jump and hover, but he can fire ranged attacks. 
Like that. Anyway, we need to find out where Mephibus is. Luckily, the camera pans onto him. Which is fine by me, because I'm slowly taking Mephibus out. There you go, camera pans to him. And we smack him. That didn't work very well. No, just move and avoid all of them. Screw you guys. Oh, yep, more damage. Screw you. I believe if you press a specific uh, button combination, um, he can actually uh, summon forth a bunch of shots, which will attack, which will home in and attack everything on the screen. That's a lot. Well, I don't think everything. I don't think it's going to destroy all these Nephilim clones, but it will do a lot of damage. Well, it'll do your basic damage, but that's a lot of shots. I think we've seen more already when I've used the button combination used like a lot, like. Six. So that's six or seven shots in one move. Omega is bloody awesome. Um, yeah, you laugh as I smack you with beams of stuff. I'm literally lobbing energy golf balls at him. Screw you, I have energy golf balls. I will smack you in the face, uh, you drug. <laughs> Methodist. Oh yes! Oh no, not your Dark Spirit Bomb! First Supersonic, then Seven Chaos Emeralds, now Dark Spirit Bomb. He's dead now. Well, he's not dead. We'll see him later, honest. But he has been defeated for the moment. Yes, Mephilus, that went well for you, didn't it? Show the gah, and then stuff, and then back to loading screen, because that's what this game is all about. Result! Come on, I want that perfect. Oh, that doesn't look like a perfect at all. Oh, no, that's not a perfect. That's an A. Oh! This is going to be the perfect episode, damn it! Fine. I guess it's going to be the near perfect episode. Because we're up to about 12 minutes, and I think uh, we've got a lot of cutscenes to go, so I think that'll probably be it. For the, uh, for the combat in this. I doubt I'm going to be able to get another level in. It's not another tropical jungle, I'm afraid. It's uh, something else. Hey, Mephilus has been smacked in the face. Bitch slapped by Omega. He's like, oh, no, not robot. Robot, my one true weakness. Yes, he stumbles around like he's just fallen over from a night out. Don't try and dark spirit bomb me. He didn't. Get back here, we'll get you. Yes, we'll go into the dark spirit bomb. What if they ever did that in Dragon Ball? Like a, like a, I don't know. Probably not. Would have been funny if they did though. You know, instead, instead of taking the spirits of the living people, or like the life source of living people, they take the dead people instead. That would have been... Morbid? It would have definitely been for an enemy. An antagonist, here you could say. Is no longer here. Is in pursuing him. <laughs> Good for you. I, 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 that's fine by me. Right, so, I believe, yes, we are back in Soliana. Meet up with Rouge at the Warehouse District. And then, we have to have another cutscene. And then go somewhere else. Why couldn't Rouge just meet us here? Why do we have to go through another cutscene? Hell, why do I have to go through this game right now? Because it was requested of me, and sadly I accepted. But regardless, I'm not actually that annoyed at this uh, campaign so far. To find out where she is, or do you already know where she is? Anyway, oh. That was a bit of a... <laughs> that a bit of lag there from a 2006 game? Oh well. Anyway, warehouse districts. Let's go. Excuse me, guy. Got things to do. Oh, hello. Hey, Rouge. How can you lose contact with her? And she got that weird watch thing. I don't know. And loading screen again. And then cutscene. Then loading screen. The loading screens never end. Hello. It seems like Eggman's machines are looking for you. What did you do this time? 
Oh, I didn't let Mephilus steal my wallet. Mephilus is the guy that you just lobbed light balls at. Those light golf balls. That's who he is. You keep track of Mephilus. Oh, Shadow, you curmudgeon, you independent bugger. And then he leaves before even saying hello. Well, it seems his little trip hasn't changed him. This is Rouge. G-U-N-H-Q? Yes. Pull all available data on an item called the Scepter of Darkness for me. At least Rouge said it, well, correctly. Not the Book of Darkness like it was last episode. What is a Book of Darkness? It sounds like, I don't know, something you get in some like Call of Cthulhu, only, you know, they go for things that actually have Latin in their name. Or De Hexen Hammer! Which is German for the Hammer of Witches. Uh, anyway. So, uh, head for the station. Oh, God, it's Radical Train next, isn't it? Oh, joy. The doctor's traveling by train? Shoot. I've got to get to the station. Indeed, let's go to the station. And I believe we're up to nearly 17 minutes. About 17 minutes, I think. So I think that's a good time to go for a break. Because, uh... Well, the game's starting to lag to hold buggery. Luckily, it's just over here. So, excuse me, guys. Anyway, I'm going to go for a break here, but in the next episode of Let's Play Sonic 06, Radical Train, we must stop the Eggman from escaping by train. Maybe she's got on holiday or something. Anyway, I'll see you then.